just like to say for the most part, Joe Biden is very likely to be the next president of the United States. Kamala Harris is the, going to be the vice president. Even though I would have preferred a Bernie Sanders or like a Ocasio-Cortez to um, you know, take reign of it, you know, there isn't much I can do. On the bright side, we got rid of Donald Trump, at least for now. But I must warn you, as you are watching this video right now, don't get complacent. Don't think that just because Biden and Harris are in office, everything is going to be over. There will no be racism, no poverty, nothing of the sort. Everything will be honky-dory. Well, that's not the case. you still got to sort out this pandemic fair and square. Fix the jobs problem. Get people with affordable housing. Get people jobs. And the racial and religious conflicts that are going on as we speak. And the amount of violence that's going on in this country and the rate of crime. And the rate of unwanted pregnancies and domestic violence and rapes that are going on in this country. It is not good for the US's image to keep like this. They have to do a lot better than this in order to win my heart as well as many one else's. Anyone else's, I meant. And Biden and Harris alone can't do that. It takes good people to do so. And the politicians themselves with their big money donors are the ones that have to be held accountable to the public. But what they want. Unfortunately, money controls legislation. And that's how things get ahead. So don't expect Medicare for all to happen overnight. With slim chances of the Democrats uh, attaining the whole of the House, it's a majority, but it's of a slimmer majority than it was two years ago. And the Senate is still unclear. It's probably going to be Republicans still. Not much will change. And this is what I was warning you about. You have to be the change. Otherwise, they'll just keep ignoring you. And you'll vote for someone who's like Trump yet again in 2024. He may come back. You hear? With a vengeance. And there'll be lots of people that will vote for him because they'll fall for what he has to say. Sure, we got the bad apples out of the way. But that's not enough. We have to do a lot more than that. I wish I wasn't in Britain or the US. I wish I was somewhere else. Politically sound and peaceful. Keep it to its own business. But unfortunately, if you don't have connections or money, you don't have that option. And with COVID, with all the restrictions on travel and visas, too bad. So that's my video I just wanted to send out there for those watching. I've said my piece. I think you can figure out the rest. Signing off.